Hey, I have a problem which I need your help to solve. I have a fence to go all around the playground. This fence is of fixed length but it's flexible in shape. Now I need your help to carve out the largest possible playground for the kids in my school. Which shape should we pick for the playground if the fence length is fixed? All we need is a piece of string to mimic our fence and a bulletin board with its pins, okay? And maybe some raisins. <laughs> I'll show you. We can make any shape we want, such as, let's say, a triangle. I put the string around the pins and there we have a triangle. Done. Now, we'll fill this with the raisins without any gaps and this is going to mark the area of the triangle. Come on, let's try to fill it. The idea is there should be no gaps and it should fill entirely. Okay, now we're done. Now we can change our shape and see if the area changes, while the fence or perimeter will always remain fixed. Now we can change this shape and see if the area changes while the fence or the perimeter or the string in this case will always remain fixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put four markers here for a square. That's a square. Now let's take these raisins and fill them into the square. The same raisins that filled the triangle. And voila, have a look. There's a gap left. We will need some extra raisins actually to cover this entire shape again. Let me add a few more. So, the area has increased. Okay, let's take one more step and check. How about we promote our square into a pentagon of five sides and use the string of the exact same length. Pentagon with the string around it tucked in. Perfect. Now, let's check. I'm going to move the raisins from the square into the pentagon, the exact same raisins, and see what happens. There you have it. We're left with a little hole again, which I should fill with some more raisins. Which means that the area has increased. And for sure, increasing the number of sides increases the area. And if we continue like this, we can see that the title of maximum area will then of course go to a polygon of infinite sides, which is actually a circle. Perfect. The exact same raisin and see what happens. There you have it. We are left with a little hole again which I should fill with some more raisin. And now you know that the circle is the shape that has the largest area for a fixed perimeter. And you can also confirm this by using the formulae for calculating areas of various shapes. So, a circular park would be the best option for the kids' playground, giving them the most area possible for a given length of fence. Great! Now, let me leave you with a question. If you take the regular and irregular versions of the same polygon shape, having the same perimeter, then which version will give you more area? You could actually use this exact same setup to check. Let me know your discoveries in the comments below and I shall see you next time. For more conceptual clarity and engaging learning, subscribe to the Baiju's channel.